In this video, we'll be taking apart the Honor X9B. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. Also, if you need any tools, there are links in the description. To start off, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Looking at the SIM tray, we can see a green rubber gasket around it. At this point, heat needs to be applied to the back using a hairdryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath, and then a pry tool can be used to pry the back off. I prefer to use a hairdryer since there's less of a chance of damaging any of the components inside by overheating them. Before we can completely peel off and pry the back off, the center of the camera bezel needs to be peeled off. There's a single Phillips screw which needs to be removed. Now finally, the back cover can be completely lifted off. Here's a better look at the vegan leather back. The camera lens cover can also be pried off and removed by applying heat and prying it off. So you won't need to take apart the phone to replace that. Looking at the other side, we see the flex cable for the LED flash. At this point, there are 15 Phillips screws that have to be removed. Looking at the top plastic cover, we can see the NFC antenna. On the other side, we can see graphite film to help transfer heat. The battery cable can now be disconnected, followed by the rest of the cables. As for the coaxial cables, those can be disconnected by just popping them off. There's a single Phillips screw which is holding down the motherboard. Taking a look at the main board, we can see the 108 megapixel primary camera, the 5 megapixel ultra wide, and the 2 megapixel macro lens. None of the cameras have OIS or optical image stabilization. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. There's also a secondary microphone on the top corner. On the other side, we can see the 16 megapixel front facing camera and the proximity sensor located next to the front facing camera. There's also some thermal paste on this back shield to help transfer heat. Once the removable shields have been removed, we have a better look at the RAM, ROM, and processor, as well as additional thermal paste. Moving on to the battery. There's a pull pouch provided to help you pry the battery off. This is the 5,800 mAh battery. 
Once the battery has been removed, we can see the flex cable for the screen which is routed through an opening in the mid-frame. So if you need to replace the screen, you'd have to remove the back plate, the top plastic cover as well as the screws. You'd have to disconnect the battery cable and pry the battery off, giving you access to the screen cable, at which point you'd heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry the old screen off, apply new adhesive, reapply the new screen making sure you run the flex cable back to the opening in the mid-frame, and reassemble the phone. As for this flex cable, it connects the main board to the subboard. There are two additional Phillips screws which need to be removed. Here's a look at the speaker assembly. There's a mesh filter and rubber gasket over the opening of the speaker. There's also an antenna board on the side of the speaker. There's a single Phillips screw which is holding down the subboard. Looking at the subboard, we can see a rubber gasket on the charger port as well as this connector. The primary microphone is located right here. As for the SIM reader, it's located on the other side. The vibrator motor is located on the bottom corner which is held down with some adhesive. To replace that, just apply some heat and pry it off. The fingerprint reader is located here, which is also held down with some adhesive. To replace the flex cable for the volume keys and power button, just gently peel it off from the frame. As for the volume keys and power button themselves, those can be replaced by pulling them out. And finally, the earpiece speaker is located on top, which is also held down with some adhesive. To replace that, just heat it up and pry it off. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 4 out of 10. Now it's time to put it back together. Once everything's back in place, Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.